Hello girls, it's Yolanda Renee and today we are going to be doing a at home DIY project. Hopefully you guys are interested. I've been getting lots of comments on my videos like where's the hair videos and blah blah blah. We'll get into that in another video but I hope that I have a majority of my subscribers interested in my life <laughs> because a lot has been going on in my life lately. Um, just like in my last video, we moved. Um, yeah, we moved and I'm still in the process of unpacking, decorating, and I don't have time to stop and do hair tutorials. So that's why my channel is my life. So in this moment, my focus is getting my home my home in order for my family. I mean, I'm still going to do natural hair tutorials, but right now, this is what's important, and I decided to share with you guys. Um, and I'm not starting a whole new channel to do this stuff. I can separate my videos by playlist. So if you see a home video and you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Um, you can go to my natural hair tab and see all my natural hair videos. There's no need to do a whole nother channel. It just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, if you guys are interested in hair, this hair is freaking, this hair is amazing. This is kinky straight hair by Private Stock Hair and i love it it is amazing it feels just like our hair if it was a blowout and straightened it's amazing right and of course private stock hair that's my girl angela so i'll put the information in the description box but so today i'm going to give you a glimpse of my office space um, so i'm going to give you a diy version of a metallic um, foil type of look um, painting and all you will need for this project is you'll need a canvas I get my canvas um, pieces from a place called Ollie's it's very inexpensive so you can get your canvas at Walmart at Hobby Lobby they always have sales it's some tacky glue um, and I got this right from Walmart as well as this extra fine glitter I got this from Walmart as well extra fine glitter if you use the glitter you're going to need a craft bonding spray um i actually sprayed this after i put the glitter and shook off the glitter just so glitter won't be falling all over the place i sprayed this on top to really make it like a layer over the glitter in this video i'm going to show you how i created the glitter version but i also will show you a final um, canvas piece where I just use the sharpie which I personally like the best but you can do whatever you want to do um, and I will start selling these but not until um, July because I'm going to New Orleans for the New Orleans Natural Hair Expo during Essence July 2nd and 3rd um, so I'm that's going to be the first place I'm actually going to be selling my art including the kitty pieces that you've seen Taylor and Sky show you um, but yeah so that's going to kick off my art and then I'll start selling them online but again I still want you guys to you know start doing these yourself if you're interested and maybe I'll have some like um, sip and paint um, events or whatever um, but anyway I'm talking too much so let's get started so the first thing that you want to do is on your canvas start drawing what you want to draw and so draw or sketch whatever you want to sketch on the canvas with pencil very lightly once you have the drawing perfected this is when you also want to go ahead with an eraser and erase any lines that you don't want visible so definitely do that it's very important once you have a more outline of your um, drawing then you want to go in with the craft glue and this is where you're going to trace what you already have drawn and definitely work in small sections because the glue will dry so start tracing a little piece and then sprinkle some glitter on there and then move on to the next um, spot and you want to do that because again you don't want the glue to dry before you put the glitter because then the glitter won't stick um, so once you have your drawing all completely covered in glue and glitter, then you can use a trash bag and you have to I would suggest doing this inside because outside the wind could blow and glitter will be everywhere. Um, so definitely I did mine inside. I just laid a trash bag down in the kitchen 
and I sprinkle, I like turned over the canvas and let all the glitter fall onto uh, the trash bag. And then my drawing came to life. It was amazing. I then used this spray to go ahead and spray the glitter so it would not start shaking everywhere. And I let that dry. So while that was drying, I cleaned up all the excess glitter because you can reuse that glitter. So what I did is I kind of made the, um, the trash bag into kind of like a funnel and let it fall down onto the paper and then with the paper I did the same thing turn it into a funnel and then I put the glitter back into the glitter container um but yeah that is it I hope you guys loved this quick DIY project I have plenty more coming so yeah I'm about to show you my workspace and then I will see you in my next video all right girls goodbye